Yo, welcome back to the wonderful world of Yosh, and you guys are back with me, Yosh, your host. Uh, did that just rhyme? What? I I'm a mad rapper. Anyway, guys, we are back on the DVD server with me, your, your dirt block in a suit. And we're back in my little... I, I broke my game. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I, I don't know. Wow, I just... My game just like broke there for a second. I don't know what just happened. But anyways, we we're back in my little messed up house here. My little village I live in. And since last time, m me personally as a player and the server have actually gone up a lot. With a lot of improvements, a lot of work. And here's my number one favorite thing. I made Yosha's pick again. Yes, we got Yosha's pick back. Although it's only efficiency... Five, or four it's only efficiency four it was efficiency five and I think it was fortune two last time but now it's efficiency four and silk touch silk touch works too I like silk touch you need silk touch but anyway anyway and if we just walk over here I got this mad crazy chicken farm I, I'm not sure if you guys can hear it but I can hear it Look at this, man. They're just go oh, look at all these eggs. Oh, poison. No, you're killing my chickens. You're killing my chickens. No, no. No, all that lag I just got right there. If I pick up dead chicken, that, that witch killed my chickens. How dare that witch. Wow. Anyway, despite that little witch, I figured out the best way to breed chickens, which is with a nether wart. Although that is considered a bug and that will be fixed in 1.8, which kind of sucks. Because if you guys didn't know, if I just grab some of this, this nether wart right here, and then we run back over here to my weird chicken farm thing. Which I will be killing all these chickens because there's way too many of them. Look at that, man. They breed. I, I guess. Oh, I fell in again. Oh, no. What is with mobs and coming into my chicken farm? Great. Now, now we broke my door. Slash lock it. Fix. What? 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 Okay. Okay, I, I, know, I know how to fix this, guys. Don't worry. Wait, I fixed it. Okay, okay. Anyway, since then, I also went strip mining, and we found diamonds. Yes, I did find my first amount of diamonds, and I actually did find 11 total. And this place is just swarming with um, mobs. Here we are, let me go show you. And I did actually get a little strip mine going, a pretty decent strip mine. If I do say so myself. Oh, I'm wearing, I'm wearing the golden chest plate. Anyway, this is my mine going down to my mine anyway. As you can see, I got, I got furnaces down there. That, that obviously makes it a mine. You gotta have furnaces. That looks weird when you throw it. Anyway, guys. Oh, crap. I made a chicken. Ignore that. This is my little strip mine base hub thingy. We got the lava on the side. We got the nether brick. We got the funky stairs. And then we got one strip mine on this side and one strip mine on the other side. And, you know, that's actually basically all the stuff I've done in between episodes. I had the chicken farm, which I don't believe you guys saw. I, you guys didn't see the strip mine. And you guys didn't see the pick. And you guys didn't see... I think that's it. I do believe that is it. But, I'm level 50, oh wow. But, there is one thing we need to see, and it is with the server, and it's a new way to make money, a new way to get levels, and a new way to get OP gear. That is how I got, oh yeah, that's what, I, I just actually did, that was the first test run thing on the new dungeons. Oh, that was a new test run thing on the new dungeons, and... The dungeons are back in the server, the new server, and I actually managed to get me a golden shovel and some diamond booties. 
that's all I got. But I'm just gonna keep rocking the uh, gold chest plate for now. That's all I got. I didn't really get much, but you know, what? let's go take a look at that dungeon. It's warp dungeon. Uh oh oh there we go. Bedrock. <laughs> And then you got, it's three layers long, and as you can see, it's already lit up, because I literally just did that. And you gotta do su slash suicide. Slash suicide! I don't recommend suicide. Suicide's not recommended in real life. It's only recommended in Minecraft. I, I'm, I'm, don't commit suicide. Unless you're in Minecraft, then it's okay. Because, you know, in Minecraft, you just, you just respawn. No, not a big deal. Anyway, we're going to take a look at Arnie's house, because I actually left him a little present, as you can see right there. And Arnie is just a fellow player. He, he lives in the Netherlands. It's pretty sweet. And he loaned me some eggs to get that chicken farm started. And then Ham Pop threw away all the eggs, so I made him get more eggs. And then I'm, I'm just going to give him a little emerald as a little gift. A little gifty gift. Anyway, guys, what are we going to do today? Man, I, I feel like I had some stuff planned, but I just, I keep coming to a blank. I keep thinking about something. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm thinking about. <laughs> oh, man. It's really drawing a blank to me. I feel like I'm supposed to do something. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to show you my diamonds? I feel like I'm supposed to show you my diamonds. So I'm going to show you my diamonds, because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Anyway, my diamond, my diamonds, <laughs> my, my diamond, my diamonds are right here. <gasps> we got diamond ore. Silk touch. Let's go sell these bad boys, because we need a lot of money to buy a town plot later on. When, when the, when Shock and Tico get the town plots all finished. We need a lot of money, because I'm going to get one of the big plots. I know it. Anyway, we'll just run over here to the shops. Can you sell diamond ore? Diamond ore sells for 200, yes. Yeah, man. We're, okay, we're, okay, diamond sell for 80. Whoa. 5K, guys. We hit the 5K club. I'm just going to write that in chat. 5k club. I feel like I spelled club wrong, but I don't think I did. <laughs> 5k club, and nobody's con gonna congratulate me because I'm the only one here. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. <laughs> nah, it's not. It's not sad at all. Nobody likes playing with me. Nah, I'm, I'm just a loner. I'm a loner kid. Anyway, guys, anyway, let's just head back over to the base, and I think I know what we're gonna do. What? <laughs> No, not this place. This place is still for sale if anybody wants it. <laughs> but this is not the place we were heading to. We were heading to this place, the wild chicken farm. What's in here? Anything in here? Anything anything at all in here? I don't think anything's in here. Whoa, I broke it. <laughs> Let me just take these baked potatoes. Baked potatoes all day. All day. And we guys, we're actually gonna get into villager trading. Today, I, I've just decided that on the top of my head, we're going to do some villager trading, because we have villagers, and I don't know what to do with them. And, you know, we really should have went to my home. Just We were just there. We sh Why didn't we go there? Because I actually have a good villager trade. Let me just grab some wheat here, and we're going to get me an emerald. Just grab all this wheat. No, seed, no seeds from that. That was interesting. Here we go. Just plant all that back down. I think I need about 14. I get 14. I got 12. You gotta be kidding me. I got 12. Okay, we got. We can grab some more over here. And then we. This should be enough. We. Uh, me and Warlord, mainly Warlord, because I don't know. He wanted to. We set up a little villager breeding place over here. So you know, if you want this place, it comes with a village, a villager breeding station now. Oh wow! I just failed. There we go. There we go. And oh yeah, look at that. We got a, a silversmith, blacksmith. What are you? What are you? The blacksmith or the one with the black cloak? What are you? You're a farmer, right? Yeah. Anyway, this is the guy. We need twenty-one. Okay. What do you have to offer? Uh, for leather pants. What are you? 
Man, I feel like I should go, I should feel like I should know this. This is the guy Warlord wanted because he wanted Eyes of Ender for the End Portal. That's why I didn't get to show you guys. Home. End. Yes, Warlord got the End Portal, but we I I believe we went there and I showed you guys it already. I'm not really sure, but whoops. Oh crap. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Sprint, sprint for, oh no. <laughs> I have 50 levels, we can't die. We can't die. You lose everything if you die in the end or the nether. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, okay, my diamond, or my diamond, my gold chest plate will save us. Oh, 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 my heart just literally skipped a beat there. Whoa! <laughs> we're not gonna watch this. Ah, uh, no. Oh, look at that, we're back in the village! Oh, look at there. Oh, we have server messages now. Yes, that's what we were talking about. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna make a little cut right here, and... And I don't know. I guess we're not making a cut right there, because I have no idea what I was gonna do. And I'm out of it today. But, you know, let's, let's go and open up these villagers and see what they have to trade. I mean, they should have something interesting in here, right? Man, I'm overprotective with these guys. Whoever let me be a mom. I don't have any torches. Why would I have torches? Uh... Oh, that's wood. <laughs> here we go. I he no no bad blacksmith bad get out get out out I said I, I said get out get out fine no yeah 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 stay out now what do these guys have? oh emerald for bread that's not good oh yeah oh no that's not how you do it that <laughs> thought he just stole it there boom do I need more I need I need to do that more. Oh no 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 no! Three emeralds for flint and steel. Hey, okay, we need to get a minecart, and we're gonna put him in that house because that's gonna be more trading house. What what other what other things we got here? Uh ooh, wow, that's expensive. You ain't cheap. You ain't are you are not cheap. Uh, what what's this guy? Ooh, uh, wait, that was good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Anyways, I think I, I I think I actually am gonna take a jump cut here, and I'm gonna actually move the village. I'm gonna go through the villagers, decide which ones I want, and I'm gonna move them into the house over there. And I'm gonna fix my skin. I'm still Steve. Wait, wasn't I a dirt block in a suit when we started? <laughs> anyway guys, I will be right back with you, and I'll see you guys in a couple moments. Yo, hey guys, welcome back from that last little jump cut I just did, and we are back at my base with my normal skin this time, because 1.7.9 has this weird glitch, apparently. Anyway, uh, we, we kind of ran into a problem with the villagers. The, we kind of lost... All of them. <laughs> yeah, that happened. But we we managed to get one, and we got a farmer. Which it's not bad. We we got the wheat trade, which is nice, and we got the wool trade. <laughs> but I I did kind of create a little breeder, a little a little Minecraft Minecraft, a little villager, a little villager breeder right up in here. Am I going to be able to jump up on that? No, no, I'm not. Let me just build a little staircase. Now, we did we did have leftover villagers in here, but we didn't have any blacksmith. I was, the villager that I lost was a blacksmith, so that's what I'm trying, trying to get, and I'm glitched out. And this is my ghetto. I, I probably shouldn't say ghetto. This is my little jerry-rigged villager breeder thing. 
I built inside a house with a bunch of random doors. You know, this sort of worked. We got a librarian, and these guys are butchers. I think. I'm still not sure, actually. <laughs> We've got a librarian down there. I could have swore we had another little guy somewhere. You know, with, with my luck, he probably died. Anyway, guys. We, we are working on trading and villaging and, and all that stuff. But I'm waiting for a blacksmith, so we're probably not going to get into the, any of the major, major trading today. Will you move, sir? Oh, it moved. Look at that. But there, there is something I want to show you. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. You'll, you'll, you're gonna like it. So, Shockwave and Tico, as you guys know, they are the server's owners. Mainly Shockwave's the real owner. He deals with all the stuff. Tico's a co-owner. He helps. Oh, and, and they've been working on the town world. And I actually got permission from Shockwave, and we can go and take a little sneak peek before he releases it to the public. Now, it's not finished yet, guys. It's not finished, so don't worry. Now, if you were on the old server before the server got reset or because we got new hosts and stuff, you would have recognized that you guys could have bought plots for a certain amount of money, and these plots are grief-proof, and only you can ha only you have access to them. See? And... You can build on them and do whatever you want, build farms, do whatever. The chunks are normally loaded because there's always other people here, which is nice. So, you know, good good thing for farms and such. And it, no one can touch them. But what what's really cool this time is they, they're 80 blocks deep. So that's 80 blocks of dirt, which I can't break. And they are different size. <laughs> they are different sizes. Yes, we have large plots, tiny plots mediocre plots, normal plots. And now, before we go look at the plots, let's look at the spawn. Look at this. Wow, look at that. Tico did an amazing job on the spawn. It's nowhere near, it's not even done yet. Um, in these little spots right here, right about here, right here, we're gonna have little player shops Tico, Tico is making. His name is Tico Machi. If you ever see him in the game, just tell him he's a great builder, because he is. Look at this. This spawn is absolutely amazing. Ooh, I got glitched out there. And then we're gonna have little player shops here. He's gonna build little shops for and then people can rent them out. Man, I need to eat. Ooh. What's this? What is this little piston? Alrighty, there's nothing back here. <laughs> got my hopes up. Anyway guys, so this is the spawn. And saying lag in chat makes you look like an idiot. Yes it does. So I'm just gonna say lag. And this is and no it's nowhere near done yet. But it's gonna look amazing when it's done. It's gonna look amazing balls, if that's even a word, which I think it should be. And okay, let's get it back into the plot, the more of the plot areas. I seem to be really stuttering and like drawing blanks this episode for some reason. And now it looks like we got a 74 by 256 by 73 size plot here for three grand. That seems to be the normal sizes, I think. The big ones are. 256 by like 170 by 70 something too and those ones cost 10 grand but the the reason that they're so expensive in this world or what am i what am i doing dude i can i can fly in this world because it's in the pre-stages yeah this is so much better for you guys to look anyway guys um i normally don't use slash fly it's only i only use it for moderating and don't think i cheat or anything I, I normally don't use it. But, um, yeah, this is way better with Slash Fly. Look at this. Look at that spawn, guys. That spawn is absolutely beautiful. Let's get a little, little F1 mode action here. Look at that. Anyway. So, yep, that, that looks like the mediocre size um, plot. And then we have another mediocre size plot. Another mediocre size pot. Pl pl yeah, it's a pot. No plot. But over here, look at, see, now that one's a bit tinier. Then we got even tinier ones. And, you know, the price, the bigger the plot, the more it's going to cost. You know, it's common sense. Medio mediocre size one. And now that's not only the cool things here. Now, now remember how I said these plots were really expensive? It was like three grand for that one right there. Now, the reason it's so expensive because we have separate districts. We have districts, yes. This district with the plains bottom, as you can see in the top right-hand corner, 
top left hand corner, not right hand. What am I doing? Top left hand corner. It says plains. Now each district has different biomes, and this is the central district. It's right next to it's right next to what where spawn was at. It's right next to spawn, which is right there. So this is a central district. Now if we just travel outside these walls right here, we'll be in whatever district's next. This is the east, or is this the west? It's the north. This is the north district. I was way off. And let me just check. Yup, it is the north district. And this is the new biome. New theme, if, as one could say. And the plots are much, much cheaper because they're not in the district biome. See, this one's only $1,000. And it's the same size as a $3,000 one over there. But you gotta remember this is a different biome and it's not right next to spawn. So it's not it's not next to spawn, but it's farther out here. Look at this. So oh, look at we got one of the big ones here. This is probably I think this is the biggest one in the game. This one costs three thousand dollars when it's not in the central district, the size this big. But when it's in the central district, I believe it runs for about ten thousand dollars. Yeah, in the central district, the big one like that runs for ten thousand dollars a plot. That one's three thousand dollars right there because it's not in the central district. And you know, let, let's go find one of the other biomes. And I'm really excited for this town. I have actually pretty good plans for it because, as I said, the wild world is going to be regenerated in 1.8. So don't really build anything massive. The town world will not be regenerated, so we can do whatever we want here, which is that's pretty nice. It is pretty pretty nice. And now, uh, what, what, this is the Swampland biome. What district is this? Is it another different district? As we are in the Central District right now, this is the Western District. So that's the South District. <laughs> I know my directions. And look, we got another one of those major big plots. And I'm gonna assume, I'm just gonna make the assumption, where's the little, there it is. This is gonna cost about three grand. Uh, that's what I, I'm. That's what I'm assuming, anyway. And I was right. W two for three grand. Yeah, I don't really like the swamp biome so much. You know, others might like it. They might enjoy it. I'm gonna go for the plains one, even though it's so dang expensive. I just I like the plains. And it's next to spawn. I guess that could be good if you're opening a shop. But I'm gonna create my little headquarters there i'm gonna make a skyscraper little spoiler alert there i'm gonna have a sky skyscraper later it's gonna be awesome and as we just head over here you're gonna be expecting the exact same thing Ooh, excuse me there a little hiccup thing going on there it's just a different biome over here and then it's gonna be the same thing on that side and i'm sorry my chunks are being like this I know other people have like super good PCs. Whoosh! Chunks are all loaded. They got like 32 render distance. I'm playing on 11. Woo! It's better than 8, right? 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 <laughs> you know, guys, I'm just want. I'm, I'm, I just want to tell you guys that I normally. I'm gonna die right now, aren't I? No, I'm not. I normally don't use slash fly. I really only use that for moderating, and this little tour right here. And this is going to be a survival town world if you weren't on here for the old server. And all different sizes, all different biomes. Pretty cool. Cool. I'm really going to enjoy it when Shock releases it. And this is not released yet. I'm giving you guys a little sneak peek. A little sneaky sneaky peek. So keep it on the hush hush. Don't don't tell Shockwave. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he won't care. I, I think I asked permission. I think. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, wait. We can just check, can't we? No, we can't. We can't check. Alrighty then. <laughs> I'm like, we can just check if I ask, but no, we cannot. Anyways, I just want to thank you guys for watching. I hope I'm a Steve again. Why am I Steve? I don't like being Steve. I hope you guys enjoyed my failure of trying to breed villagers as a zombie came in and ate them all. That, that was a sad fail. And then I made that little ghetto villager breeder. That, that's pretty cool. And now you guys got a tour of the town world. Man, this is pretty nice. I honestly cannot wait for this i have plans to get one of the decent sized plots and i'm gonna build a skyscraper and i'm gonna build some farms it should be pretty interesting i just want to think i just want to thank you guys for watching be sure to smack all the following buttons i'm gonna list right now the subscribe button the share button 
and the thumbs up button or the thumbs down button please don't push the thumbs down button it'll make me cry I cry every time you push that button don't push that button oh I don't have permission for this area anyways I just want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time and I'm probably going to record another episode right after, right after this so woo! should have double episodes alright guys see ya see ya later